Okay, today I'm going to talk about transformation geometry. There's five types. There's translation, rotation, axial symmetry, central symmetry, enlargements and reductions. So basically, axial symmetry is when a shape is flipped across the axis of reflection to a new position that is the mirror of the image, okay? So like this. It's as if you place a mirror in the middle and it is reflecting the image. I'm going to show you how to create this. So first, you need to bring all your lines across the axis of reflection. These are just construction lines, so keep them light. Next, we're going to get our compass and take the distances from the axis of reflection and swing them across. It is very important to label each point. So I'm going to label this A1 because I had one movement from A across. D1, E1, H1, G1, I1, B1, C1. F1, and G1. It's very important that you label as you go because there's a lot of letters on the same line, so it can get quite confusing. So now that we have them all labeled, we can see that A is joined to B. You can go slightly heavier on these lines or even get a darker pencil. So they will stand out more than the construction line. From there, you can see that B is joined to C. C is joined to D. D to E. And you just repeat the same pattern as us on the other side, each letter. And there is your image of the shape. 